Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to my VHS update for December 5th, 2015. Which is my first VHS update filmed with this new with my new digital camera. Which I got 50 tapes today that I really liked. So let's get started. First one is a War Home Video Big W clamshell. The 191 VHS of Arthur from the comedy. Dudley Moore, Liza Minnelli, and John Gilgud. Spine in the back. A Bonanza of Last with the World's Richest Drunk. Here's the Warren Homeville engraved on the inside. Sticker label and end label. This looks like a mid to late 80s reprint, so this might have a black screen at the end. I'll have to look though. Next one is the Night's High 7 V, just the Phantom, with the really cool uh, holographic cover there. Spine, back. Yeah. Sticker label, end label. The 18th week of 1997. And I like, and I like the purple clamshell that this tape comes in. Got five blank tapes. Maxell, another Maxell, another Maxell, a JVC, and a Fuji film. Alright. Next three are Bear in the Beagle House tapes. B Bear in the Beagle House Volume 6, Night High 8 VHS, slipcover version. I don't have the clamshell version or the 1001 reprint yet, but I hope to find them soon. Spine or spine top back. There is a literary storybook quality to the show, says Marvin Kidman of Long Island Newsday. Has picture of health and magic in the kitchen. Sticker label, the sixth week of 1999. So all I need to get now is volume four and then I'll have all eight volumes. And the next one is Brand New Eagle House Volume 7, 1999 VHS. I also have the 1001 reprint of this. Spine or Spine Top Back. One of the top 10 new kids shows, today by TV Guide. Has Mouse Party and Bear's Birthday Bash. Sticker label, the 39th week of 1999. Which means this most definitely will be the copy with the original 1999 opening. Yeah. I also have the copy that has the Thomas and the Magic Railroad trailer. And this next one's a Disney one. It's the 2004 Disney VHS of Bear in the Beagle House Heroes of Woodland Valley. My second Bear in the Beagle House Disney tape. Spine or Spine, top, back. Has the uh, Hero well, Welcome to Woodland Valley episode, the two part episode. Ink label, blue lid, black reels. Print date is September 14, 2004. I remember, I know, I do remember that uh, Sam the Infamous had this tape, but his copy was completely broken. My copy, I'm pretty sure, will work just fine. Next one, James Bond at the movies. 14 original coming attractions from Doctor No, Russia with Love, Goldfinger, Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, Our Majesty Secret Service. Diamonds Are Forever, Live and Let Die, The Man with the Golden Gun, The Spy Who Loved Me, Moonraker, For Your Eyes Only, Octopussy, and A View to a Kill. This is from some company called Amvest Video. Yeah. I think it's just a bunch of, like, trailers or something. Not sure, though. It's only 45 minutes. Doesn't say what year it was from. Sticker label, no print date, oversized reels, and recording tab. And it's got a little homemade end label there, which... Ah, uh, never mind. Next tape is a very rare, hard-to-find movie. Exit to Eden, with Dana Delaney, Paul Mercurio, Rosie O'Donnell, and Dan Aykroyd. To crack this case, these two cops will have to flash more than their badges. Yeah, I know Cinema Sickness talks, talks about this movie quite a few times. Spine or Spine Top Back. 
from Gary Marshall, the director of Pretty Woman. Night's Night 4 film. Sticker label. June 25th, 1997. Yeah. And the DVD has been out of print for a long time. Next one is... The 2004 VHS of Stuck on You. Matt Damon and Greg Kinnear. From the guys who brought you There's Something About Mary. Which of course is the Ferrelli Brothers. This is the Hollywood video version. Spider-Man Spine Top Back. I also have the uh, Blockbuster version as well. Ink label, white tape, Hollywood video end label. I know VHS Man Lyric is back, prefers always prefers the uh, white Barney video cassettes. So yeah. Next one is Man of the House, 2005 VHS. This is a rare tape right here. Ink label, black reels, November 4th, 2005. There is a piece in the reel on this tape, but hopefully it will still play fine. Next one is The Avengers of Mile and Otis 2006 reprint. This is a rare tape right here. See? 2006 reprint. Ink label, blue lid, black reels. Print date is January 12, 2006. Next one is an RC Columbia Pictures Home Video VHS. The 1988 VHS of Someone to Watch Over Me. Tom Berenger and Mimi Rogers. Spine, R Spine, Top, Bottom, Back. Yeah. Love how it opens like that. Label looks like it's about to come off, so I'm going to tape it back on. And label, the second week of 1999. And, and there's... Does not appear to be a print date, so... This, my guess is this might have the moaning sound at the end. It could have the white screen of death, or... Possibly both the white screen of death and moaning sound. You never know, but... My guess is, probably has the moaning sound at the end. Next one is a Paramount Special Collector Series VHS. Billy Crystal, A Comics Line. Of course, it's from 1986. And this is a 1984 uh, special. Spire on our spine top back. Sticker label and label. May 23rd, 1986. So printed on the 23rd week of 1986. So this will most definitely have the white screen death at the end since it has a print date. Next one is an MGM Movie Time tape, Married to It. Three couples with nothing in common and everything to share. This is a Orion Pictures movie from 1993. Spiders my top back. But, however, the tape itself is, the, is still the original 1993 Orion Home Video print. Ink label, no print date. Next one is... The... Next one is my first Orion home video movie time tape, The Favor. Yeah, how far would you go for a friend? I do also have the MGM movie time print, but this is the Orion home video print. And like I said, this is my first Orion home video movie time tape. Do hope to get more of these soon. Ink label, January 4th, 1999. go. Next to our Paramount Special Edition tapes. First one is Rules of Engagement. 2000 VHS, 2000 film. Spine, our spine, top, back. Special features are cast and crew interviews and behind the scenes documentary. Sticker label, the seventh week of 2001. And the other one I got is What Woman Want, Mel Gibson and Helen Hunt. The, yeah, 2001 VHS, 2000 film. Spine or spine top back. Has the same bonus features as the other one I just showed. 
Kazakh Crew Reviews behind the scenes featurette. Sticker label, the 45th week of 2002. And it does have the Paramount 9th Anniversary Seal sticker. So this is definitely a 2002 reprint. Next one is the 1996 demo VHS of Celtic Pride with Damon Wayans, Daniel Stern, and Dan Aykroyd. Spine or spine top back. Here's all the information on the back. Don't feel like reading them. Sticker label, July 14th, 1996. And unfortunately, this tape is damaged at the beginning. Oh, and it has the hologram right there. Unfortunately, this tape is damaged at the beginning. See? It's twisted. Yeah, this tape is unfortunately twisted at the beginning, but... I will hopefully try to uh, untwist... I, I am going to definitely fix this tape. I will definitely, like, try to untwist it before I, uh, put in my VCR. Next one is the 2001 demo VHS of The Yards. Mark Wahlberg, Walking Phoenix, Charlie's Theron, Faye Dunaway, Ellen Burstein, and James Kahn. There's nothing more dangerous than an innocent man. Yeah. Spine or spine top. Back. Again, don't, like, don't feel like reading all the information. This one has a dark sticker label, which is cool. Print date is January 19th, 2001. Next one is the 2000 preview cassette of Anna and the King. Jody Foster and Chow Young Fat. I do believe there is a preview for this movie on my uh, preview cassette of uh, what's the name of that movie? Anywhere but here. Spine, spine, top, back. Yep. Sticker label. Uh, the thirteenth week, I believe. Yeah. The 13th week of 2000. Next one is another Fox preview cassette from 2000. Light It Up. Usher, Raymond, Forrest Whitaker, Rosario Dawson, and Vanessa I. Williams. Soundtrack features music by DMX, Master P., Featuring the No Limit All-Stars, Ja Rule, 1112, Outcast, Amy, and Soul. Spine or spine top back. Yeah. Sticker label. Also printed on the 13th week of 2000. So these must have, so these two films must have been released pretty much around the same time, I would assume. Next one is A Smoky Mountain Christmas, starring Dolly Parton. 1991 VHS. Spine or spine top back. Grammy Award winner Dolly Parton stars in this family Christmas drama. It's a 1986 uh, TV special. Sticker label. The 47th week of 1992. This tape does appear to be recorded in EP mode, which is pretty cool. So, so my guess, so my guess, this is probably has the white screen of death, then static, then the moaning sound at the end. That would be my guess. Next one is Peter Paul and Mary Holiday concert, 1990 VHS, spine or spine top back. Features We Wish You a Merry Christmas, Puff the Magic Dragon, All Come All Ye Faithful, Blowing in the Wind, Silent Night, Twas the Night Before Christmas, and many more. So I guess, so this seems to be like Peter, Paul, and Mary performing Christmas songs and their own songs as well. This is a 1986 program, and this is a 1990 release by Rhino Home Video. Sticker label, and there is a sticker on here, but it does not seem to have a print date for some reason. Oh. Next one is Crash of Moons. Classic sci-fi adventure. 1996 Alpha Beta Distributors VHS. Spine Spine Top Back. 1954 film 73 minutes. Sticker layout which says 1995. 
no print date, and the reels seem to have yellowed a bit, unfortunately. Happy Go Lovey, Nike, David Nevin, Vera, Ellen, and Cesar Romero, 1988, United American Video VHS, Spider-Man, Spider Top Back, Sticker layout, which says 1989, no print date. Yeah. The next two are Paramount Gulf Western tapes. The Rainmaker, the, the original, with Burt Lancaster and Katherine Hepburn. 1988 VHS, Spine on Spine Top Back. This is a 1956 movie. Sticker label and end label, and there does appear to be a print down of the end label. September 18th, 1988. And you can see it says PAR. I mean, Brown is right there. So this might actually have the, blow pitch, the low pitch black screen and depth at the end, which will be pretty cool if it does. And this one is Love with the Proper Stranger. With Natalie Wood and Steve McQueen, 1989 tape, Spiner, Spine Top Back, 1963 movie, uh, right there, sticker label, end label, uh, looks like October. October 9th, 1990, the 42nd week of 1990. So this will most definitely have the clicking white screen death at the end, since it has a print date. Next one is 1990 VHS of The Hustler, Paul Newman, Piper Laurie, Georgie Scott, and Jackie Gleason as Minnesota Fats. Spiner, Spine Top Back. The masterpiece that propelled Newman to stardom. 1961 film. Sticker label. No print date, but there are some printings on it. The Glenn Miller story. Jimmy Stewart and June Allison. See it and hear it as never before. It was a time that changed the world, and one man put it to music. For the first time in stereo. 1990 VHS. Spiner, Spine Top Back. 1953 film, we did in 1981. Sticker layout, which is from 1986. And... Printed on the 29th week of 1993. And... Yes, there, there, are, there, does appear, there does appear to be some printings on there, on the bottom. So this will definitely have the white screen death at the end. Next one is... Safe at Home, Mickey Mandel and Roger Maris, get ready for Grand Slam Family Fun, 1996 VHS, Spiders my top back, this does have, uh, and uh, as it says right here, Safe at Home proved so popular that Mantle and Maris were later teamed up with Doris Day and Cary Grant in the comedy That Touch of Mick. Which I have on VHS as well. 1962 film. Yeah. Sticker label. The sixth week of 1996. Alright. Next one is. A majority of one. Ruz and Russell and Alec Guinness, the heart womanist comedy under the rising sun. 1993 VHS, spine or spine top back. Two Hollywood greats sip from life's sake cup. Uh, 1961 fell between 1989, and uh, Alec Guinness was was in a uh, Star Wars, and it has some, it has a, a Lucasfilm limited copyright on there for some reason. I have no clue why. Sticker label. This is uh, 
Yeah, this is a reprint. Print dates are October 23rd and Halloween 2000. Next one is Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Elizabeth Taylor and Paul Newman. 1989 VHS. This movie also has Burl Ives in it as well. Spine under spine top back. An intense important picture. See it by Variety. 1958 film in 1986. Yeah. I did want the uh, MGM Finished Classics print in this movie, but... I'm fine with this print. I'm fine with this print. Sticker label, May 10th, 1994. Next one is an MGM Inglorious Black and White VHS. The 1991 VHS of Father of the Bride. Spencer Tracy, Joan Bennett, Elizabeth Taylor. This will be replacing my Hooray for Hollywood print of it, which is in a cut box. Spire is my top back. 1950 film, nominated for three Academy Awards in 1950, including Best Picture. Yeah. Sticker label, October 13th, 1992. Okay, apparently I should put it in this way. Next one is an MGM Vintage Classics VHS. The 1997 VHS of uh, Irma Ladosh. Jack Lemon and Shirley MacLaine. This is the deluxe widescreen edition. Spine or spine top back. Contains the original theatrical trailer. And pause the video if you want to read the uh, facts from the vault. Real quickly. Uh, 1963 film. 2 hours and 23 minutes. Sticker label. Printed on... March 25th, 2000. It's only like a couple weeks after I was born. Next one is an MG of Musicals VHS. The Night Type 4 VHS of That's Entertainment. Spine or Spine Top Back. I also have That's Entertainment Part 2. The best musical entertainment that will ever be made, said see by Los Angeles Times. 2 hours and 14 minutes. 1974 film. Sticker label. September 27th, 1996. Next one is an MGM Western Legends tape. The 2000 VHS of the Alamo. John Wayne, Richard Ridmark, Lawrence Harvey, and Richard Boone. Yeah. I know Tr Demony Troy also has this tape. Spine or spine top back. 1960 film contains the original theatrical trailer. Two hours and 42 minutes. Ink label. Print date is September 11, 2000. So just one year before 9 11 happened. Next three are Man from Uncle VHS tapes. Volume 3, which has The Deadly Toys Affair and The Minus X Affair. Spine or spine top back. And I do know the uh, Man from Uncle movie just came out not too long ago. Sticker label September 5th, 1991. Volume 18 The Green Opal Affair and the Dove Affair. Spine or spine top back. Sticker label. July 10th, 1993. And Volume 19. The Brain Killer Affair and the Bat Cave Affair. Spine my top back. Sticker label. Ju February 26, 1993. Next one is the Alfred Hitchcock Signature Collection release of Vertigo from 1999. Spine my top back. 1958 film renewed in 1986 and this is the restored version from 1996 actually someone someone named Pearson used to have this tape 
It's written on the inside of the cover and on one of the glass windows. See? Sticker label. The 30th week of 1999. Not sure if this has the Universal FBI screen or the Columbia TriStar FBI screen. I'll definitely have to check the, the opening for this. Next one is the 1999 Playhouse video features of Wee Willy Winky with Shirley Temple. My fourth Shirley Temple Playhouse videotape. I know Devony Troy also has this one. Spiner, Spine Top, Back. Shirley Temple earns her stripes in a John Ford classic. 1937 film, renewed in 1965. I'll have the color version of this movie. Sticker label, no print date. And it does come with this thing for other Shirley Temple movies as well. Other Shirley Temple Playhouse videotapes. Yeah. And yes, I will definitely do a comparison video on two different VHS versions of Wee Willy Winky pretty soon. Probably, probably like next week or something. Next one is Robot Monster in 3D. One of the best bad movies ever made. Yeah, had to get this. 1991 released by Rhino Home Video. Spire Spine Top Back. 1953 film. And it actually does come with these 3D glasses. Yeah. How cool is that? Unfortunately, it is missing one of the windows. But oh well. Sticker label and no print date. For the producer of Catwoman of the Moon, which I have the 3D version of that as well. And the last two are two tape sets, and they're both from Madison Video. This one's a Gary Cooper double feature, featuring A Farewell to Arms and Meet John Doe. I do also have uh, A Farewell to Arms on another, uh, on my uh, Good Times Family Classic double feature of Snows of Kilimanjaro and A Farewell to Arms. Spine or Spine Top Back. Farewell to Arms is a 1932 film, and Beat John Doe is a 1941 film. Here's the tape for Farewell to Arms, and the tape for Meet John Doe. And the last tape, James Cagney double feature, Blood on the Sun, and The Time of Your Life. Spine or Spine, Top Back. Blood on the Sun is a 1945 film, and The Time of Your Life is a 1948 film. And this time the tapes have the oversized reels. Here's the tape for Blood on the Sun, and the tape for The Time of Your Life. Yeah. So, that is my update for today. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.